And how's work? <sighs> Where do I start? We have to make TikTok videos now, Instagram reels, every single week. And all this new tech is coming out all the time. 8K video is now a thing. Our computers can't even handle it. And I constantly feel like my biggest stressor in life is video editing. Here, I have a quote for you that is gonna completely change the way that you look at editing. And that quote goes, you try to edit again, every, every single time. Relink therapist, relink, relink, relink the therapist. There we go, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Powerful stuff, right? I didn't, I literally didn't hear a single word you said. You were completely offline the entire time. Oh, well, don't worry, here, I'll repeat it for you. That quote goes, See, here's the thing about that skit. It wouldn't be funny if it wasn't true. <laughs> I feel like we've all been there at some point. Anyways, today's video is brought to you by Best Buy. If you guys are looking to be a faster and better editor, which we will be covering in this week's video, this holiday season is the perfect time to upgrade to a GeForce RTX 30 laptop like the MSI Creator Z16 GeForce RTX 3060 laptop GPU. But more on this computer later. Let's get into Lazy versus Pro Video Editor. Okay, so let's jump into our first lazy versus pro scenario. And this is something that I used to do when I first started video editing and I did it for years. A lazy editor builds the whole edit as they go along. I'm talking about adding your first clip and then you're like super excited. And you're like, let's add the titles now. Let's add sound design. And you keep adding every single part as you're moving along. You play it from the beginning and you keep doing that over. You add 10 seconds, play it from the beginning. Add 10 seconds, render, play it from the beginning. And then it takes you 84 years to finish an edit. Here's what we do now. Here's what a pro editor would do. They have a system in place and they know how to optimize their workflow for the computer that they're working off of. First, they would do a story pass. So they add in all the A-roll clips, all the talking head, whatever they want. They would make sure that they have a story cut, locked and finished. Then they would add the B-roll as a next layer on top. Then they would add graphics. Then they would do a sound and sound design pass. Then they would do a color pass. And then they would do the finishing pass on the rest of the edit. Typically the perfect combination for a smooth video editing experience is when you have an efficiently built edit and workflow matched with a powerful GPU like the NVIDIA RTX 3060 GPU, which is in the MSI Creator Z16 laptop here as an example. Here is the biggest takeaway from that last point. Think of it as if you're wearing different hats. A lazy editor will wear their story hat and then they'll quickly jump to their graphics hat and they'll quickly jump to the next hat every few seconds. Whereas a pro editor will wear their story hat and only wear the story hat until the story is done. Then they'll move on to their graphics hat. So wear the one hat, get the job done, move on to the next hat. Easy takeaway. Moving on to our second scenario. Now, a lazy editor doesn't understand hard drives or data management. Have you ever walked into a coffee shop and you see the editor in the corner, he has his laptop, has his headphones on, and then he has an HDD drive connected with some like old USB cable. And then you look, he gets nudged a little bit and that hard drive keeps getting closer and closer to the edge of the table. And it's just hovering right there. And one more little boop and it falls smashes and he loses his entire project because he didn't back it up. That person was me 10 years ago. Don't be me 10 years ago. See a pro editor and what our workflow is now is that we edit directly off of the SSD on the computer or we have two dedicated SSDs that we are working off of. See, CH work one, CH work two. One is the backup of the other one. When we're done the project, that's when we move it over to an HDD for storage or we archive it on our NAS setup. All right, I have another point on data management. See, a lazy editor will import files from wherever into their editing software of choice. They'll literally have them from their download section, maybe a file from the desktop. Maybe you have some weird hard drive connected and you imported the file there and then you finish the project, you export it and you think you're done. See, a pro editor will download all those files and move them into a designated folder 
for that project. Now, this is very tedious, but when you open up that project like three years later because your client comes back and goes, we want to make TikToks now because TikTok's a thing. Let's open that project we made that we loved from three years ago. You can find everything. Organize everything. Be the pro editor. All right, the third scenario. Now, a lazy editor just upgrades their editing software without doing any research on how to optimize it. For example, let's say you're updating Premiere Pro to the latest version because you think it's going to be better and faster, and then you end up being frustrated when it's not. See, a pro editor will do research about the latest update, and if they choose to update, they'll then optimize the settings to get the best performance. For example, in the last year, Premiere Pro allowed for renders and playback to have GPU acceleration, which means that you got five times faster exports and better playback. So essentially, the software Premiere Pro was working with the hardware, the GPU, they were talking together to get better performance. But here's the catch. When you do the update, you got to know to go into the settings to switch on GPU acceleration. That's how you get better performance. Now, if you want to get five times faster exports and better playback, you're going to need a powerful GPU. Now, you've heard us talk about NVIDIA GPUs on this channel multiple times before. We're big fans of their products. They're in our PCs, they're in our laptops. They make great stuff. Now, for example, the MSI Creator Z16 laptop here has the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 laptop GPU inside, which ultimately means that this GPU will help you edit faster, render quicker, and broadcast clear, and just overall have less headaches. And if your job requires things like ray tracing or AI-powered 8K video editing or VR, like the stressed out guy at the beginning of this video, read link, read link, you're gonna want a powerful GPU. On top of that, NVIDIA is constantly updating their studio drivers to be optimized with apps like Premiere Pro so that you get the best performance with each software update. Scenario number four, a lazy editor knows how to cut videos, but they don't know how to cut videos for a specific platform or audience. Let me elaborate. See, I feel like it's been drilled into us for so long that we need to understand how to cut story. That's that's one thing. Once you get that out of the way, there's another layer to it. You also need to know how to cut videos for a specific audience or distribution platform. See, editing for TikTok is very different than editing for a television show. That is the big difference is that a pro editor knows how to edit for each specific audience. I've worked with a lot of different editors in my time, a lot of people in the commercial world when we used to make commercials and corporate videos. And now that we work mostly in the social media world, sometimes I hire those people. And I go, hey, XY person, <laughs> imagine that's their name. Hi, I'm XY, that's what my parents named me. Elon's my dad. <laughs> so I, I hire XYZ person and I said, can you cut this video down for an Instagram reel? And they're like, yeah, absolutely no problem. I can definitely do that. And then I get the cut and it's super boring at the beginning because they don't realize that it's going on Instagram and people are scrolling and they're deciding if they wanna watch that video or not. But in their world, they're usually editing for television or they're editing for commercials, which is very, very different than editing for social media. So you have to understand the platform. A pro editor knows how to cut for each specific distribution outlet. Scenario number five, a lazy editor does not understand timelines properly. For example, a lazy editor might say it only takes a day to edit a three minute video because it only took them a day to edit a previous three minute video for another project. A pro editor knows how to look at the footage, the different Kodaks, knows what needs to go into it from a story perspective, all the graphics that are involved, the color grading and the render times. They also understand the capacity of their computer and if the computer can even handle the edit at all, then they will go back to the client and say, this will take X amount of days based on this, that, and the other. And if they're really pro, they're going to go back to the client and make some recommendations on different team members to hire. Maybe they have to outsource different parts of the project if it's very complex, as well as making upgrades to different software and or hardware to accomplish the project. For example, on the hardware side, let's say that the video that you're working on requires a lot of like complex graphics, you know, VR and or 8K video editing. You may want to consider upgrading your system to something like the laptop that we've been talking about in this video, the MSI Creator Z16 with the G4 RTX 3060 to handle all the complex layers as well as requests from the client. See, a pro editor will typically say that it will take much longer and cost more money, but it's actually accurate and you get a better edit at the end of the day. You always get what you pay for and that's why hiring the pros is always the right move. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you are a video editor or an aspiring video editor. Now is the time to lean into that job because you are more valuable than ever. There are so many opportunities out there. Go and, go and seize them all. Every single company needs a good video editor and that video editor could be you.
Thank you, Best Buy, for sponsoring this video. Whether you're a seasoned content creator or just looking to get into video editing, there is value in upgrading your laptop this holiday season. It's the perfect time to brush up on your skills and speed up your workflow so that you can create more and better content in 2022 and potentially start charging more. If you're looking to upgrade your creator laptop, Best Buy has your back. Links in the description to learn more about the MSI Creator Z16 laptop with the GeForce RTX 3060. If you guys like this video, please press like. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos and we will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm